grace and peace be unto you from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Rene. Welcome. Happy Tuesday to you. Press like and share. Tell everybody that the voice of the prophet is on. Amen. We're going to get straight unto the word of God. We're going to get into our morning breakfast, our morning manna, and eat the word of God. And I pray that you enjoyed Monday. We're going to talk on this Tuesday about God is perfect in righteousness. Amen. So by this righteousness, righteousness and justice are the same. Righteousness and justice are the same. Righteousness is holiness and action against sin, right? The holiness of God demands that sin be judged and the sinner um, uh, uh, punished. Such punishment is the righteousness and justice of God in action. So the righteous God cannot allow sin to keep on going and not judge it because his, his righteousness demands it, you know? Um, we live in a world that right now, justice is, I don't know, justice is perverted because um, whoever gives you the most money can make you say and do everything. Whoever gives you um, the most job can get you to act or behave a certain way. Um, you know, people can give you money and get you to lie about somebody um, uh, and, and then pervert the, the, the law system to make outcomes to be on their favor. Not so with God. Oh, glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That God is a God. Is, he's perfect in righteousness. You can't bribe God. You can't pay him off to that's be good. different than who he is. He is a God of justice. He's, he's a God that's going to, you know what? He's going to do what's right. You see, I may not do what's right all the time. Nobody here. I mean, you may not do what's right all the time. But God will always do right Amen. all the time. Hallelujah. So God now wants us to be impartial. Um, it don't matter if it's your best friend. It don't matter if it's your mother. It don't matter if it's your father. It doesn't matter if your uncle. It doesn't matter if your sister. It doesn't matter if it's your daughter. It doesn't matter if it's your son. Mm -hmm. If they're wrong, they're wrong. Because we will not judge certain things because we think not judging is loving somebody, but it's not the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God don't care about who you are and what you are. It will always do what is uh, a cause it to be because Amen. righteousness Amen. is his character and righteousness is, is what his attributes Amen. of who he is. And those are the things that we as a people um, have to develop in the righteousness of God. Because the truth is, we can be impartial to who we like. We can be favorable to who Amen. we like and, and, and even twist things around so your favor can get away. You know that, but not so with God. Oh, nobody hear me. Come on now. Um, Romans chapter 2, verse um, 8 and 9, you know, um, um, but uh, he began to read his, reading God's holy word, but unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey what? Unrighteousness. Look at this, wrong, indignation and right, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of men that doeth evil of the Jew first. Um, of what? And also the Gentile. So God don't care if you're a Jew or a Gentile because you're a Jew. Oh, you're going to get away because no, no. Of the Jew first and then what? The Gentile. God put the Jew first because what? He gave them the word at the beginning. Right? The Jewish nation. He gave them the word at the beginning. Let me tell you something. The reason that God picked the Jews. Right? Now, something happened. You know, I didn't want to talk about it, but something happened in the Tower of Babel. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, those were the division of nations. Mm -hmm. Right? The division of nations. Mm -hmm. At the Tower of Babel, mm -hmm. God picked um, certain nation, pick, pick um, the Jewish nation. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, he picked that nation because, at, uh, well, I don't know if I want to divulge this information. What happened is the sons of gods, right, in the book of Genesis, they were all, all over the nations, right? Now, if you look at Genesis chapter 6, it talks about um, the sons of God came unto the woman and they born giants. So, so those gods was over the nation. They went against God's will. They did something totally different. Now, now in Genesis 11, right, um, we see the division of the nations. So the people begin to build things without God. They start getting information 
from these so-called angelic beings to build certain things. Amen. So now God divided the nation. He turned his back on the nation. He only picked one, right? Which was consistent. He went to take what? Abraham and start with him, right? So now the purpose of God choosing Abraham and teaching that nation. Now he was with only one nation, the Jewish nation, but there were other nations that have turned from God. This is why he told them they should not serve any other God because they were supposed to be the prototype, the blueprint to show the other nations. If you, if I can do this with this nation, you would want me to and come back to me. Come on now. Please. Right. You would come back to me. So this is why now when God did not put Gentiles first, he said, I'm going to judge the Jew and then the Gentiles. This is why we have evangelism. Because we're trying to get the nations back to God. And if you look at the book of Acts, um, Paul was the apostle to the Gentiles. I don't want to get into it because there's so much in information. But I, want, I just want to give you a little tidbit of it. Because it's a lot I can say without you know, giving um, the rest of the stuff. But the righteousness of God is, the, is, is a holy God. He doesn't know the difference between Jew and Gentile. If you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're going the wrong way, he go, you, he, he going to deal yes, with sir. you. So don't ever Amen. think that I'm God's favorite and you're going to um, get away. No, he didn't let his own son get away. He's not going to let you get away because that's his righteousness. Mm -hmm. He's right in his nature. He judges things right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, even though you may, matter of fact, because you love him, you judge him first. Mm -hmm. Because you love him, you judge him. Now look at this, right? Mm -hmm. The righteousness is all of God is a holy God acting in a just and upright manner towards his creation. The righteousness of God is his holiness, right? Justly with his, um, you know, trying to act justly with his creature. This justice is, is seen in, 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 in what he does in both punishment and whichever way. So you can't say if God punished me, He's wrong. He's never wrong because he has within right. Now, now let me tell you something. That's why he puts certain laws and certain things. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, you know, you can say, well, why, you know, why did the cop stop me? Mm -hmm. He's wrong for stopping me. Well, you know, I, I came from another country. I don't know if a green light I'm supposed to, uh, well, well, red light I'm supposed to stop. What, 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 what happened with the law and rules and regulation, it doesn't matter if you knew it or not. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes, it doesn't matter if you're ignorant of it. You still would get punished in a just way because it's your job to know the law of the yeah. land. Yes. Do you understand? So God will, you can't tell God, well, you know, I should get away. No, you know what you're supposed to be doing. So God now is a just God. He's a just God in the way that he would punish sin mm -hmm. and come against sin and mm -hmm. do certain things and do whatever. And you can say, well, you know, um, why should I sin? I was born this way. Well, no. Well, oh uh, God, that, that there's certain things. Well, you have to understand that there's certain things, right? And, and, um, Genesis, Adam fell, right? Well, the woman ate first. Adam participated in the sin that causes men to fail. Now, in the book of Genesis, the sons of God introduced more evil in the world that even messed up men even more. But I, I, I believe it's one of those books. He said that it is not only the falling state that brings sin into the world. It is the participation of mankind upon the sin. Now, let me tell you something. If you know something, I'm doing something wrong, you participate in it. You get the just punishment. You can't blame Adam for what he did. You don't have to participate on what uh, um, he did. So don't act like you shouldn't be judged and that's my nature. No, it can be your nature. What Adam did is open the way for the desire to sin. In Genesis chapter 6, the angels introduce all kinds of things, right? Which is messengers introduce all kinds of things in the earth realm. So now what happened is that we participated in those sin. So you so so if you participated in the sin, mm -hmm. 
you you partake of the judgment that's supposed to be in Adam. You, you, you understand? So that, that certain thing. So why is it nobody stopped sinning after Adam? Oh, I'm made that way. I'm born. No, yeah, you, you, you could be born that way and, 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 and sin. You were born and shaped in shaping iniquity. That means I have the desire to sin. But you don't have to fulfill your desire. So when you fulfill your desire, you participate in the sin willingly. How many of us has participated willingly? Oh, no. Okay, no, no. So don't ever think that God is unjust for judging you for your sin because even though you can blame it in Adam all you want, but most of us have participated mm -hmm. in the same sin. Come on now. Yeah. There's, it is in your nature to sin. But you don't have to. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You understand that? Mm -hmm. So you willingly choose to do it. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Mm -hmm. That's what's called mm -hmm. willing sin. You participate mm -hmm. in it. So this is why I'm trying to help some people to understand that. Mm -hmm. Because you may feel, well, God is wrong for judging me for sin. No, he's not wrong. Because you participate in it. Mm -hmm. you, you are co-equal co with Adam. <laughs> and what he has done. Nobody hear me. Mm -hmm. So God is right. And what he's doing. Mm -hmm. That's why you need a savior. That's why you need a deliverer. Mm -hmm. And he made a way. So he's never wrong. Because now if somebody said, well, you know, I never sin or participate in sin. Well, he, he has done something in the same nature. Because you, you have to understand, there's a couple of things he, need, he has to come to redeem. Um, he has come to redeem you from the sin nature, which Adam gave you a desire to sin. But we have, but only through God, we can say we don't have to sin anymore. That's why now we have a different nature. You see, even though Jesus gave you a different nature, right? He's, he's the second Adam. We have his nature, right? Right. And even Paul talked about in the book of Romans. He said that if you sin now, you're doing it willingly because I gave you a different nature. So you don't have to. You understand that? Yeah. You don't have to. So you choose to do it. So what I'm saying, we're all guilty. And we all deserve what we need to get. Not only Adam, he had his part. But all of us to our creation, to our degeneration, we have participated in it to be guilty too. Right? So we can't say God is wrong or God is unrighteous on, on, on his judgment of us. And what he wants to do, because as a holy God and a righteous God, he does, he has a right to punish mm -hmm. in the way that he needs to punish. Yes. Hallelujah. That's why he's a good God. Yes. Now you thank him for the cross. You thank him. Hallelujah. For yes, everything. Lord. Ooh, glory. Hallelujah. All right. Let me give you some scripture. I don't know how much time I have, but I want to say a lot of things, but I can't. Matthew um, 25. 11, glory, hallelujah, Amen. thank you, Jesus. Um, uh, afterward came also the other virgin saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour and the son of man cometh. For the king, kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling to a far country who called his other servants and delivered them his good. Now somebody could say, God, you are unrighteous. Why don't you open the door for the rest of the God? They only fell asleep. <laughs> they only <laughs> fell asleep. But guess what happened? When God said, you are to watch. You are to um, pay attention for my coming and what I'm doing. So what happened, you cannot be off your thing and begin to act like the rest of the world Amen. and begin to do the things. So now you can't say mm -hmm. God is unfair when he tells you to watch, mm -hmm. when he tells you to do the things that you need to be doing. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go into the book of, um, well, Daniel 9, 7 and 14. We're going to read Amen. that because he's a, he's a just God. Amen. Hallelujah. The book of Daniel. Amen. Go and find it here. Daniel um, 9, verse 7, and then we're going to go to 14. Um, he beginning to read the God, the uh, Holy Word. 
O Lord, righteousness belonging unto what? To thee, but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, unto all Israel that are near, that are far off, to our altar countries, whether they have driven them. Because of what they trespass, they have trespassed against thee. So we see God, the people he have chosen, he dispersed them to our the nation because they would do because of their sin. So God is righteous in what he does. He God provide everything that we need. But guess what? When we sin, he has a right to judge us. And not only that, but the way he chooses to judge us. This is why he's a righteous. This is why we cry for mercy. And this is why we cry for the grace of God in all those things we are doing. Now look at it. Verse 8 says, O Lord, unto us, to us belong confusion of faith, to our kings, to our princes, to our fathers, because we have what? Sin against thee. So to the Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against them. You see that, right? Mm -hmm. So 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 he's saying, you know, that we have sinned against you. We ask for mercy. So you're not wrong for what you've done to us. Mm -hmm. Some things you've done, God, we deserve it. Mm -hmm. We deserve it. We have come against you. Forget other people. We have come against you. We deserve the judgment. We deserve what was supposed to happen to us. But God, we ask for mercy mm -hmm. because you are a forgiving God. You are a glorious God, even though you're righteous, your mercies, you are full of mercies and forgiveness, though we, we have um, rebelled against him. Now look at this. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing that they may not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. Now, remember, when he gave Moses the law, he said, if they do this, this will happen. Mm -hmm. If they do that, the blessing will come. Mm -hmm. So God has already said what, 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 what will happen if you obey, and God have already said what will happen if you disobey. Mm -hmm. So if you disobey and the curse come, you cannot say that God is unrighteous on his judgment because God is a righteous God. He's a God of justice. But guess what happened? When these days happen, some of us are too prideful to say, God, I'm wrong and I'm falling on your mercy. So Daniel understood the time of Israel. He understood that God, because he chose you, yes, yes. he will whip you. Don't think because he, yeah. see, God, God will choose you and whip you. Mm -hmm. And God will choose. Now, now, now let me tell you something. Uh, he will choose you and he will whip you. Don't think because you chosen. That you get away from his righteousness. Mm -hmm. And his justice. Mm -hmm. He loved the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. But when they obey. Especially if I told you what to do. What not to do. When they disobey. Guess what happened? Judgment came. Yes. They all were scattered. And they were, were sold mm -hmm. to slavery. Because of what? God cannot sit there and allow you to do what you want to do. And and it will be against his rule. It will be against his his nature and who mm. he is to let you get away. Yes, Lord. And this is why this nation that we live in right now, this world that we live in right now, need to get themselves together. Because don't ever think that God is going to wink at evil and wink at at wickedness on the planet and wink at mm -hmm. all those things yeah. we're doing just because he has not done anything yet don't mean he will not do it we have to because the you have to still understand the earth is the lord's and the fullness yes, thereof God. everything mm -hmm. in it belong to god so when he chooses to come to inspect his house yes Lord. meaning the earth and we're not doing what he mm -hmm. we he wants us to do don't get comfortable mm -hmm. on doing your own thing. There is still a judgment. And when he does judge, you can't say, how can this happen? How can God do this? How can that happen? Well, our favorite thing is to blame it on the devil. But mm -hmm. we don't think God will judge you the same way to let you know you're out of the way and to get back into the will of yes. the Lord. Now, look at this. And he has confirmed his word, which he spake against us. And against our judges, that judges by bringing upon us great evil. 
For under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. As it is written, you see, see, what happened is no other nation got judged. Why is that? Because they didn't belong to God. Mm. Amen. But Jerusalem got scattered. Jerusalem got all kind of stuff happening. It doesn't mean the nations is, won't be judged. But when he chooses you, when he gives you his mm. laws, and when you see this other nation don't know about him, mm. but he told uh, the, the, the Jews, right, the children of Israel, everything about him, so they may come to know him, and now you go against his word. Mm. Now guess what happened? Judgment come. That's now look at this. Uh, Therefore have the Lord watch upon the evil. You see, God mm -hmm. watching upon the evil and brought it upon us. For the Lord our God. See, a lot of people say, hold up, who brought evil? God brought evil? Yes, he does. God brought the evil. That's what the Bible says. Therefore, have the Lord watch upon the evil and brought it upon us. For the Lord our God is righteous in all his work, which he doeth. For we obey not his voice. Right? Now, 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 now. now oh, God, have mercy. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And now, O Lord our God, that has brought thy people forth out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand and has gotten thee renowned, as at this day we have sinned and we have done wickedly. O Lord, according to all thy righteousness, I beseech thee, let thy anger and thy fury be turned away from the city of Jerusalem, thy holy mountain, because of our sins. And for the iniquities of our father, Jerusalem, and our people are become reproached to all that are upon us. So Daniel is showing us, we don't come to God and say, well, God, you're wrong for what you did. You're wrong. We don't deserve uh, judgment. We don't deserve injustice. And God brought evil upon them. He, well, you know, he allowed the evil to come upon them of your, of your choices and of your things. And we can't say God is unjust or unrighteous because of it, right? Because mm -hmm. you, when you're wrong, the posture that you need to take is of humility and humbleness and, and humble yourself before this righteous God and this holy God and say, I'm wrong. I'm wrong for what I've done. I'm wrong for what I said. I'm wrong for not following your word. And I'm mm -hmm. wrong for not following what you told me mm -hmm. to do. But God, we fall upon your righteousness. Yes. And one of the things about him being righteous, right? God being righteous is just full of mercy. Yes. So yes. when I'm wrong, mm. I don't say, God, I don't deserve it. But I say, God, I did wrong. Please forgive me. Yes, I fall upon your mercy. Amen. And I fall upon your grace, upon, upon your justice. And I ask for grace. Yes. Amen. So he's a righteous God. I pray that we get to understand that he's righteous. He ain't going to let you get away from anything that you're doing, either on this earth or when you leave this planet. Amen. Without Amen. Jesus, you know, oh Amen. God, have mercy. Um, judgment will come upon this earth yes. because he's a righteous God. I pray the word bless you, strengthen you. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. I have one thing to say to you. Jesus is Lord. Press like and share.